we're all super strong. We don't have to be tall when we're strong. Yeah. Yeah. I said. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? We're back. Coach Dan here, Radix Gym. Today, we are going to take you through everything you need to know about how to do handstand push-ups from the beginning to the end, all the progressions in between. This is a special YouTube video today. It's an all-female Radix Promotions video featuring the three shortest people in our gym, Daniela, <laughs> Coach Rach, and Samantha. I hope you guys enjoy. This is such a better looking crew than having to look at me for the next 20 minutes. Uh, strength is persistent. That's that's what that shows. I haven't done these in I probably ten that years. So probably ten years, but muscle memory, strength is persistent. Uh, yeah, having babies makes you strong. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. It's longevity, right? Yeah, and it's like. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is kind of a party trick, but it's pretty functional too, right? Like, to be able to... When you're short and stumpy... It's oh my too. gosh, <laughs> you're so stumpy. He's just jealous that he's not... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I know. Like I said, I'm, I'm six feet tall right now. Yeah, I know, I know. You're just jealous of my range of motion. T-Rex, T-Rex for life. Yeah, we're doing handstand push-ups. Hey, girls. Women in hands. STEM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for this because handstand push-ups are one of my most favorite exercises in the whole world. And getting girls stronger, better at push-ups, and able to do handstands is part of my God-given mission on this earth. So. Without further ado, we're going to work our way through a series of progressions, starting with the beautiful Miss Samantha for push-ups, for how to build the strength to be able to do a push-up to the ground even harder, and then to transition that into handstands with our awesome athlete, Daniela. Put your fingers on just so you have some tactile feedback here and then lower yourself down into the bar and then come and press back up. So go ahead and give me five. Yeah, make sure you push the bar all the way back to the end. Heel of your hand, fingers on the bar. Yeah, you can come up on your toes there. Nice tight core and then press down and then come back up. Awesome. You could take a little step farther in. Yep, yeah, there you go. Beautiful. So that looks really good. This is definitely too high for you. You are so strong. <laughs> so let's drop it down like four holes, five holes. Yeah, so I'm making her go closer than she wants to. Go a little bit closer to the bar and you want to try to get it to hit on the bottom of your chest, like your sternum. Yeah, there you go. Awesome, and this makes you keep a really tight core as well, right? Yep, and then elbows are coming back. And out to the side, beautiful. One more. Awesome, okay, let's make it even lower. Yeah, keep going. Okay, let's see how it goes. I mean, you got your strong hoodie on, so. <laughs> so you can see this is making the push-up harder for her as she gets closer and closer to the ground. Yep, a little bit closer in, yeah. Walk your feet in a little bit closer so you're more over top of the bar. Yeah, beautiful. The reason why we want to hit lower on the chest is that means more triceps. If you're up here like this, you're doing a lot of shoulders, we want triceps. So we want to be as close to that elbows back and down, like 45 degree angle chicken wing as possible. You're working now, hey? Beautiful, take a break, take a break. So the reason why we really like this progression is because it's measurable and you can say, okay, 
I did 10 push-ups at hole number 10. So next time I'm gonna drop it down or I'm gonna try to add more reps. Everything that we do in the gym has to be measurable. So when we go to take these push-ups down to the ground, we want them to be measurable. So if you're doing them on your knees, that's okay. You want your chest to touch the ground at the bottom every time and then come all the way back up again at the top. The same thing goes if you're doing push-ups on your toes, you have to touch the ground every time. So go all the way to the bottom and lift up. Yeah, so go all the way down to the ground and lift up your hands at the bottom of the push-up. All the way down, let you just, and then lift up your hands. Yes, that is the only way that we know that you've hit the deck on that push-up. Yes, this is called a hand release push-up. So that's how we make it measurable. So you know, okay, every single one of my push-ups was identical. Because if you're not hitting the ground, it's not the same. You can't compare how many push-ups you did if you have no idea the distance that your body traveled. Everything has to be measurable. Awesome. So once you can do 10 strict, regular push-ups to the ground, then we can make it harder. And we can put your feet up on a box. So let's grab a box. So the pike press is going to transition us from a strict push-up into a handstand push-up. So Samantha's going to put her feet up on the box and have her hands out in front. Yep, and she's going to look at her toes, even though she can't see them, but tuck her chin and walk her hands in as close as she can get to the box. Yeah, beautiful. I'm going to get a mat. Going to get a mat for her head here. And she's going to reach the top of her head out to the mat and then come back up again. Good, yeah. Head goes out to the mat and then push through. One more. Push through. Beautiful, and come on down. That was awesome. So again, the points that we're really looking for is that tripod position. So when you're here, your hands are going to here. And that's what's gonna translate over to a handstand push-up to this, from this pike position here, from your push-up. So we're always pressing from that tricep position, from here, and then the pike starts to invert it, and then when we go to do our actual handstand push-ups, we're gonna be in that position here, again, that tripod. So once these feel comfortable here, then we can start to work on kicking up to the wall. So that's its own separate fun activity. We're gonna skip ahead and assume that you're comfortable and confident with kicking up to a wall. That's gonna be a whole different video if you're not comfortable kicking up to the wall, but I know Daniela is. Yeah. So <laughs> we're gonna come on over here. And no, not this. This is, where's that pet peeve video? This is, this is one of my pet peeves, is, um, is handstand push-ups on a soft mat with your hands on a soft mat. Here, you're gonna use this. It's not good for your wrists. Spoken like a grandma. <laughs> it's not good for your wrists. Ah. So, Daniela's practiced her, her pike press. She's got that strength for overhead. The other stuff that you need to do to get from pike press to here, practice your strict overhead pressing strength and practice kicking up to the wall. So I know Danielle is comfortable kicking up to the wall, so she's gonna do some strict handstand push-ups here to the mat. Beautiful. One more. Awesome, now come on down. I'm gonna get you to try something and you're not gonna like it, but I wanna show YouTube, okay? I'm gonna get you to bring your hands a little bit farther back and a little bit closer together, because I want, I want, yeah, I wanna really be able to come around the side here so you can really see this tripod position, okay? Yeah, so her head's gonna go back and then forward. This is what is using your triceps. And the triceps are easy to get big and strong by doing lots of bench press and lots of dips to get strong for your handstand push-ups. Awesome, come on down. Beautiful. That's why we wanna make sure that we're using our, tri our triceps when we're doing our push-ups because that's what's gonna carry over the strength to here. So no shoulder push-ups like this because that's not a strong pressing position. We press from here, right? Awesome. 
So Danielle is awesome at these, so we can make it so that it's flat. That's okay, it's not like you just did 100 muscle ups and handstand push ups in the last two days. Yeah, awesome. One more, one more. Beautiful, beautiful, come on down. Now, again, back to me being really old. Back in my day, there was no such thing as kipping handstand push-ups. It was just handstand push-ups. You just did handstand push-ups like this. And everybody learned strict handstand push-ups before they learned kipping handstand push-ups. And then a lot of other things happened, but they brought back strict handstand push-ups. Why? Because it is a foundational strength exercise and it's way too easy to get injured by putting yourself into compromised positions from doing too many kipping pull-ups when you don't have the foundational strength to be able to do a strict handstand push-up. The same is true of pull-ups. We always try to get that strict pull-up first before we worry about trying to do a bunch of kipping pull-ups because you wanna make sure that you have that foundational strength and that your muscles and joints can handle the load that you're gonna be putting it through. So now, if you wanted to kip to try to, you know, like get as many handstand push-ups done as fast as possible, awesome. It's actually faster to do strict handstand push-ups because you can just go boop, 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 boop. Whereas the kip adds an extra like, second to it, right? I want, um, I want you to try parallel handstand push-ups. I know, do you know where the parallels are? Do you know where they are? There you go, I don't know if there's like standards for this that I'm missing, CrossFit, sorry, forgive me if I'm, if I'm missing anything. The reason why I want to show this is because it changes your hand position, but it makes it more like a dip pressing strength, right? It makes it more like triceps. And there's a reason why we have always used parallettes in CrossFit. You can use these. First, we'll get Sam to try them actually. Show me some push-ups on here, Sam. Yeah, a little lower, a little lower. You can do it. Oh yeah. So this is another great way to really build that pressing strength that's gonna translate over. Thank you. Okay. Try to go, yeah, as close to the wall as you can. Like get right up in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put your head down. There you go, and press. Awesome! Try one more. Nope, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. No, that's good, that's good. Right? You do. I know. I know. This is how we take it to the next level. I hope you found that helpful, YouTube. Let us know. Let us know uh, which progression you liked, what you want to see next. Let us know how your handstand push-ups are going or your push-ups. Like, we want to know what your goals are, right? Yes. To get strong. Uh, what? Subscribe. Oh, yeah. Like it. <laughs> Like and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs>